How about that, guys? Can you can, can you hear us? Can you hear that better? We'll try something else next time, I guess. Anyway, well, okay, so let's get better, into our better. first game. Josh. Better. Let's get into our first game. Um, our first game was what two presenters volunteered at the tool drive with us in North Carolina last week. Right. That's your question. So, that's right. So the question was, we went to North Carolina there. Everybody knows uh, we went and did the tool drive. Yep. Uh, it was a huge success. We gave away almost $6,000 in tools to the to local community, to the people that needed it. But who was with us yep. when we did it? Who was with us when we did it last week? Last week. We'll question. give you two. Well, we'll give you a clue. There was two of them. Yeah. A lot of work. I mean, we went down there and back in, inside of three days. Yeah. A lot of driving. But it was so worth it to see all the people, and the, and they were so grateful for the tools that we brought around over for them. All the manufacturers that got involved was awesome. Now, now there were two uh, 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 presenters that came. So, yeah, but they also brought their kids. They brought their, their kids. kids yeah, big helps too. No, but we're just referring to the right, two. Right, right. But, but just a shout out to their kids who did yeah. a good job. They really did. It was very helpful. Um, so, and for that, we got to show them what we got, man. We got an IQ t-shirt. This is to start it off. No dust, no water, no problem. Yeah, they got some uh, they got some good stuff. We're excited like to work with this brand. Yeah, it's, they've been great. They've been, uh, and uh, with this, we're going to throw in a, uh, set, a pair of their uh, safety goggles. Okay, so you've got the t-shirts and the t-shirt and the safety goggles. All right? All right. So, who's our first winner? We got uh, Teddy, Ted Waldner. Ted, Ted Waldner. Waldner. Is our winner for the first prize, which is the answer is oh yes, Bill Flamey. Oh, that's right. Did you, you see that? Paul Sprague or Tool Pig? Yes, all the way out of the way. That's there it, it is. That's better. So there you go. Good. Give those guys a follow. They deserve it. They worked real hard when we were up there. Uh, spread the word and and and, uh, and 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 help out. Yeah, immensely. Great, great couple of guys. Um, all right, let's get on to game number two, Josh. All right, so it's a, a, a it's a Matt versus Josh challenge, which everybody oh, seems to like. Oh, we love those. We love those. I'm not too sure that this was a good idea, especially with no AC. Uh, but who can balance longer on one foot? Are we drying up for games? What? What's happening here? What I think we would have been better off doing was uh, telling a, a truth story or something. All but right. uh, but now this here is we go. A, so uh, we got to so we got to so we got to hold your foot or what? I guess. So now, well, don't them, touch me. Give them a second. Who's going to stand longer on one foot? And what foot are you choosing? I'm going to stand on my. We both have to do it on the left foot. Left foot. Okay. Left foot. <clears throat> but you got these your... uh, tight pants on. They're not tight. They just those look, look tight. like those are tight pants. They those look are, like tight. look at his ankles. No, no. Look at there's lots of room. No, no. That's like uh, it's not. They're not tight pants. They just look tight. Figures I'm ankle tall. Ankle huggers. They don't make that much material. I, I just hope you don't start sweating through them, bud. All right, but listen, Matt's got a lower sense of center of gravity. Yeah. He's I'm more uh, you stocky, know. more you know, solid, built. So he, uh, he'll he stand on one. That's it. Who cares? I know. I like it. Who cares? Care? Who said that? All right, you ready? All right, here we go. You hold your foot. Uh, you hold your foot now. And you, who balances? Whoa, that was close. So how long do we have to hold this for? Until the next person falls. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> You can't start throwing stuff at us. Now the problem is, 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 is I can be here all day. Whoa! Ah! Yeah, Sorry. Matt's out. Matt's out. I'm the winner. I don't know what happened. Somebody threw something at me, and that was not cool. <laughs> Matt looks like a priest. Someone said. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's true. Man, 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 of, man, man, of, man, of, man of God. Matt, he's a man of a cloth. Okay, so listen, I won. So that means whoever picked Josh. Is the winner? That was easier than I thought. You went down quick. I know. You got to work on your course. No, strength. it wasn't that. It wasn't core strength. It was. I got this guy. You're throwing stuff at me. Oh, it's the same. I got distracted just like you. All right. What do we win? <clears throat> oh yeah. What do we win? We won the cap. Okay. Yes. Level. Well, now I guess that's the whole reason for the thing. Now, let me show you guys. That's something. right. Now this is why we were on a balancing, right? Because it's all about being level. Now, let me show you guys about this level. I'm really pumped about this level. I'll tell you why. There's a few things. A few things I want you to see. You see the angle? Let's see if I can do this right. You see the angle? You see how there's like a bevel on the level and on the vial? See right here on the vial? There's like a bevel on it. That allows you to have a very good angle at it and seeing it, okay? And then when you're on the wall, Mark, can you? I got to show you over here. 
Whatever. So if you're on the wall like this, it's got to so say you just it's just a one finger hold. It's got grips on both sides, so it doesn't slide on you when you're when you're scoring, right? Right, which is a pain. Actually. Which is a which is a very a huge big pain, pain. Huge. very big pain. Now I'm going to show you something else about right. this level, which is really really cool. So here? when you're going to plumb the wall, right? And you're going to plumb it. I've got to show you. Look at this. Look at this window. You see that window? Any angle you look at. Look how nice that is. What? Hang on. See? So when you're plumbing the wall, you're looking at it. You don't have to turn your head to the side to see what, you know, to see what's on, to see what's on the side. You can just look at it right on like that and see it. So really a nice level, lightweight, very durable, shockproof. It's just an awesome... Really nice one. I'm really glad you guys are going to have a chance to win this. And I have the winner for you. All right. It's STRM underscore chaser. Strim Tracer. Strim Tracer, you won this level. This capital level. And that's a cool, those are those bubble. Is this the one, Matt, that was really able nice. to look at any angle? Yeah, that's the insane. other thing, too. So, like, let's say you're looking at it, like, from an angle, because you can't really get where it is, because it's kind of, like, leaned out across your joist or something like that. That reading is going to be true from no matter which angle that you're looking at it at, whether it's like this or like that. Right, so it won't be long. Or it's kind of like you know when you're looking, when you're, you're in the passenger seat of a car, and you look at the at the at the what's how fast the driver's going, but your the way you look at his glass on his on his speedometer is going to be a different reading than him looking at it straight on, right? You know how that works. Well, this is different. Well, this this because of the angle of the of the uh, of the vial. It allows you, in the, in the readings on it, it allows you to be able to see a, a true reading from no matter the angle. Really cool level. Congratulations to the winner. Mark, game fan. Number, please put our fan up. Game number... That's all we have in this place right now. Game number three. You winner. No, we, have, no, we, we had the winner. We picked the winner. Yep. So we're going on to game number three. Game number three. Now, this is a simple question for you contractors out there. What do you put on a drywall corner? What do you call what you put on a drywall corner? Let us know. Yeah, this is a relatively simple one. We got some guys over from Drywall Nation. Yeah. Well, so those guys all should know exactly. Yeah, what I mean, most know. people will know what it is. It's not a trick question. It's just something to be kind there's of simple no, there's for There's no you. feed on YouTube, apparently. But when you have... From somebody. When you have a, uh, um, a corner, two pieces of drywall come into a corner, you got to put something there to protect that corner. Okay, it's relatively simple, and you guys are getting it. Uh, usually, it's made of metal... Well, not. sometimes it's plastic. Yeah, I think plastic is getting is becoming more and more popular. Well, yeah, maybe. No, uh, there's also like paper and metal combinations. Yeah, yeah. There's different things you can use, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? So um, it's a corner bead. Yeah. Trim text. I like that. Just build it. Uh, yeah, I was just gonna say that's but that's a, that's the make. Yeah. No, no trim. To, yeah, but they make a lot of really Cor great different corner different bead. corners and different yeah products. I like Trim Text. They're really a great company. I met the owner actually at one of the shows. Yeah. And we got, it, but we had a booth. He had a big booth there, and we yeah, we took we, a big picture. Yeah, we met up with those, those guys. All right, so we have a winner, Matt, and that is Jonathan Rodmich. Rod Jonathan, what is it? Rodmich. Rodmich. How did you get Rodmich from Rodmich? Just didn't pronounce the e. Oh, Rod. Well, Rod is is I guess no. Rod would have to have an H. Nope. To be Rod. Otherwise, it's Roddy Mitch. Rody. Rody Mitch. You tell us. You tell us. Congratulations. So, Rody Mitch, you win a Columbia. Which is known for their drywall and tools and whatnot, like the big gun. This is a hoodie. Now, it's not up here as well, but you also get a hat with this. It's a uh, Columbia yes. hat. A hat and a hoodie. Nice. Right. Columbia makes uh, a That's great... A really nice sweater. A great... Um, they make like uh, semi-automatic taping tools and taping sanding tools, Oy. things like that, for, oh, all yeah. for drywall. Uh, they make some good, great products. And you'll see more Columbia tools uh, coming up. And right now, over on Drywall Nation's page, he's doing a whole Columbia yeah, big tools uh, giveaway. Uh, set giveaway. So make sure you go check him out. Yeah, chance to win that. And why we, not, right? We want all you guys to win as much as you can, right? That's what we try to do here. All right. Congratulations to uh, you on that. Who was it? It was Jonathan Rodmich. Jonathan Rodmich for that one. All right, go on to uh, game number four. Josh, now, we're this, this is a, uh, we're going to do a video. We're going to be playing two parts of a video. You have to guess what company uh, this is advertising for. Okay, we're going to do a, a short clip. You have to guess what, what manufacturer, what company we're playing for. I haven't even seen this video. I'm going to say that. I want to see it myself here. 
All right, now watch this. Sorry, I'm looking at my back for a minute. All right, now, oh, who do you think this this what commercial brand? is for? Yeah, what brand is this for? Now you put that in. That's a good one. It's a, it, 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 careful now. You might yeah. want to watch it. We're going to watch it again. Let's watch it again. Watch it again. And and uh, and, and if you think you guess, you, you, you maybe don't guess right again. Guess mm -hmm. guess again. You might not want to be a follower. So much. Pay close attention. Oh, there's your giveaway. Ooh, there was a little bit of clue there. There's your giveaway. There's your clue. There's your clue. I think at the end. Uh. I'll tell you another. I'll tell you another clue. We had um, um, Skip, uh, Adele. Skip Adele did this. Yeah, he did a. He did, he did the giveaway for it. All right, now somebody, somebody, somebody got it. I think. Uh, I think we're starting to see some answers. There's some some correct answers. I got a winner anyway. I got a winner. Well, there we go. Let's watch the second let's video. Watch what happens here. Let's let's the ending and see who the winner is. Well, let's see what that. Cool yeah. video, man. All like right, video. so the answer was the rest of it. Was Harley Davidson? Those are Harley Davidson boots. We have a winner. His name is, or her name is, uh, Chain K. His or her name? Chain K. Chain K. Yeah, it's not really. Maybe a title. Chain K. Oh yeah. Well, congratulations, Chain K, for winning a Harley Davidson pair of boots. Set of boots now. All the winners tonight, make sure you DM us and we're going to get you uh, the information and stuff like that. But in your, in your sizes we'll and, you and that, and there's a, I think there's a couple of styles to choose from for these. You're right. And so so we'll, you'll have a chance to pick that up. It's a great boot, uh, by yeah. the way. Uh, uh, they're skin cool. Really have a close look at those because they're they're awesome boots. They yeah. Have, they have, yeah, they yeah, have no, real quality really nice boots. style. My brother David would love these boots. Yeah, and this way you look like you have a motorcycle. You go around a motorcycle and you don't have to be – it's not dangerous. Yeah. You just look like you're cool. Nobody's going to question you with right. these blue All right, going on to game number five. What do we got, Matt? Number five. Faces of WTI. Oh, yes. 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 All right. So here is this game. I don't know this game. You know this game. Uh, yeah, okay. So uh, we're going to ask you some pointed questions about these people. You have myself, you have Sam, Kate, Dar, and Matt. Now, of those people, we're going to ask you some short questions. Hey, Nick, you have to guess who that goes with. All right? So... We're going to go ask the first question. First question is, who has no gallbladder? Now, well, let's go to see those pictures again, Dar. Go back to the pictures. Who has, who has no, no gallbladder? gallbladder? Now, just pick who you think it might be. Out of all those people. And put it in there. Who do you think doesn't have a gallbladder? And we'll, we're going to pick a winner. I'll give you a hint. And then we're going to let you know as we go. I'll give you a hint. End. When you go to the doctors, they'll tell you people who get their gallbladder out, oftentimes the, the rhyme that goes with it is fair, fat, and 40. Okay? This is kind of a rhyme that they go to it. Now, there's only one person in this group that fits that, that, you know, that category, fair, fat, and 40. I won't say who that is. You guys will have to decide that for yourselves. Yeah, I, I don't know. But now the answer. you'll have to pick who it is. What? You misled them entirely. I may have misled them, but I'm just giving them a misleading. A misleading. So you want them to lose? No, I'm giving. I'm just telling them that that's what it, that's what happens. So you don't be don't be surprised. Now I'm seeing a lot of mats. Oh well, yeah, which Fair probably, probably which probably that's what I'm what they're referring to. And so my ruse, my is, ruse is has worked. Fat, maybe. But what I'm I'm a little I'm not sure if I'm a little hurt that they jumped so quickly. Well, there's fair in there at least. Fair. Uh, that's maybe what it is. The fair hair. Is what people are thinking. Right, what my I, word. I imagine. All right, now we're gonna we'll get back to that question in a minute. All right, so we have a winner. Now we're going to the next one. That's right. We're gonna go to the next one. Then we're gonna announce the winners at the end. Now maybe keep you keep your clues to yourself. Well, I I got always got a nice clue for you guys. It's Who like, had pink hair at one time in their life? Oh, yes. Now Josh went through a phase. <laughs> so Was it not, Josh, Sam, Kate, Dar, or Matt? Who had pink hair? One of these people has pink hair. Right. Okay. Now that'll be the that'll be the next one you gotta answer. Put so. your plan. We're gonna give them a second here. Who do you think had pink hair at one time? Let's go back to the questions. 
Dara's going to be Dara, uh, Kate picking these answers. She's gonna, yeah, as we're going along, she's picking the answers from somebody. Right. Okay, so just keep rolling with us on this. Who flew a plane? Who out of us flew now, a plane? Here's a hint. You There's say a fair, rhyme fat, boy, and fair, fat, and 40. <laughs> there's, a, there's, a, there's a solid <laughs> thing for That's a solid clue. That's a solid clue. I'm going to tell you're you guys gonna, right now. You're going to want to listen to that one. All right. All right. So, All right now, let's go back to the questions. Somebody just wrote fat. No, I, I, don't I, I, I don't know if they're getting the idea. Of the whole, quite understand. You don't just uh, randomly yeah. throw insults. Yeah, like you just don't throw insults out there. You gotta actually try to guess who the person is. All right, now who studied to be a teacher? Of these five people, who studied to be a teacher? Was it myself? Was it Sam? Was it Kate, Dar, or Matt? Now remember, I like rhymes. He's a rhymer. So maybe. But he's, he's a terrible speller. So, yeah. weigh your options. We'll tell oh, yeah. you all the winners in just a few minutes. All the, all they're the coming winners. up. They're coming. They're coming. All the uh, correct answers. I go back to the question. Last question. Who used to be a bartender? Was it myself, Sam, Kate, Dar, or Matt? You've all, you know, you've done a lot of like, you've been a lot of like all thumbs a lot. You do. Oh yeah, no, I'm a dropper. He does. You I are a little clumsy on some things. Dropsies. You have the dropsies. real disease. I don't know, but it's it's funny to see. So get your guesses in for who you think was a bartender, and, and I'm gonna we're gonna give you just a few minutes to close this uh, to close this up, and then we're going to. Uh, I know it's the winners. Yeah. That's good questions, though. Good questions. Yeah, you don't know you, when it, it could have worked for anybody, right? It, it lets you get to know the people that, uh, that work here at WTI uh, yeah. a little bit more. So I'm going to point to the picture of who it is. You have what's that, Dar? I've got the answers. Oh, you have the answers. Oh, okay. I don't have the point. I like that. Let me just wait. I'm I don't like getting off my stool when I don't I'm have waiting there. Okay, no. Now, let's see the answer. You got them all? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, what was the the first one? Was no gallbladder is Darlene. Okay, Darlene. she's a hundred pounds and brunette. Fair and fat and beautiful. 40, very very beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. So, fair fat and forty was to throw you guys off. I guess. And you all thought it was me. So that's good for you guys for not getting it. The winner was Raif Shaif. Raif Shaif. Raif Shaif. Congratulations. You, you won that. Now we'll tell you what you won in just a minute. Uh, okay, next one, Matt, was? Uh, the next question was who? The pink hair. The pink That's hair right. was the next one. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that was Kate. That's right. And Emily, Emily had pink Woodworks. hair. Emily Dot Woodworks had uh, picked Got that. So Emily Dot Woodworks. You, you Can you imagine her with pink hair? Yeah. Just, Punk rocker, man. Yeah, I've never seen one. It was really something. It was really something. Okay. And then uh, the next one was uh, who flew a plane? Fair, fat, and forty. Right? Who, who flew plane? Yeah. That's right. Fair, fat, and forty. That was me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, the winner there was Adam. It saved. I don't know what was it. Thirty passengers. Adam landed the plane safely. Everybody got home nice that night. Adam twenty eighty nine was the winner there. He got that. Way to go, Adam. Way to guess it, bud. Way to know a uh, pilot when you see one. All right. And then the teacher goal. Who teacher. was the teacher? That was? That was Sam. And for you, Sam, she, why are she, you with us? She planned to be a I teacher, no then idea. she got hooked into working here. And the winner was J.M. Wells Designs. J.M. Wells Designs. J.M. Wells, congratulations. You won that one, bud. And finally? And finally, of course, our bartender, Josh, who worked for a very short period of time as a bartender. Uh, was like four or five years. And was kicked was out for day. breaking every glass in the restaurant. You call, you most you call of your, the beer. You, would you call me a barista? I don't know. A barista. No, it was never. a coffee maker. Yeah, but I would never call you anything like a barista. Uh, the winner was uh, Cyrus Waldner. Cyrus Waldner, you nailed it. Congratulations, Cyrus. So there you go. That was that was great. You got a little chance to know some things about. Now nah, I'm gonna give you the stuff to, 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 to go up. But where's the rest of the stuff? It's no, it's downstairs. You didn't get it up here. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, well, so you show them what it is. Show them. All right, there you go, guys. Oh, it's already up there. Yeah. There there okay, so you're get you're all winning an easy square, and you're also getting. A uh, IQ oh, yes. safety glasses. Nice pair of IC. There's a, there's two to choose from. You can have either the tinted glasses, so they look like really cool, like you're cool, or you can have just a clear one, so that it just safety you can see really easily. Okay.
okay? Maybe you're not in a sunny area. So you can have either one of those. So you're getting both, okay? You're getting the, the, uh, the, the, the glass square and the glasses. And now these glasses, I believe, are they the non, non-fog ones? Yeah, they're not, they don't fog up. And so I, we we were watching some reviews, or Nate, uh, Bill by Nate was telling us too, like, you'll build up condensation on the glasses from your sweat before it fogs up. Like, it just doesn't fog. Yeah. Amazing glasses. Great glasses. Uh, really nice. And then these easy squares are really handy. You can keep them on your left side. You can keep them on your right. You can put them where you want it. And, and you, can keep them, you can keep them either on the left side or the right side. It's easy access yeah. to your so that, In case square. your pouch doesn't have one, okay? All right. <clears throat> Pan up a touch, saggy camera mount again. Brian, thanks, Brian, for telling us that. It's really a sag- saggy cameraman. It's really the <laughs> Not a camera. Not the mountain mountain mountain. Mountain. He's getting tired, and slowly as he, as the night right, goes it, it on, hasn't, no, it hasn't moved. It just sort of moved. goes. You know what I mean? Maybe it's Brian's phone. Lift up your phone a bit. Yeah, maybe lift your phone higher, Brian. Maybe that's the Maybe problem. you're getting tired. I, I don't know. All right, now we're going oh, on to. Oh, there's some rain. Uh, maybe it'll cool down here. Uh, we're doing. We're gonna do a live. We're gonna bring somebody on live. Mark, we got someone there. Ta- uh, no, no, that's we had the last time. No, but we got somebody. Okay, so listen, but to explain what's gonna happen. Give people a chance to get on. We have a live. So if you want to get on live, you can ask to come on live. Got to go back up to the top or something and click it. Uh, we're going to do one game with this one. It's called Hangman. We're going to do it live. Hey, Nate. Welcome, buddy. Hey, buddy. What a great time last we're, week. Thanks we for were, coming and helping, man. We were just talking awesome. about you. Whoa. So let's so, bring on, uh, let's see here. I'll tell you who. Who is, uh, let me see here. I got who's who's big boogle who is that just there it is big, right, big boggle big, big boggle let's see richard big boggle let's see if we can get him on here without let's crashing see if he has yeah and if it crashes guys we'll be right back you know how that works right <laughs> josh you're doing all of this so. big boggle get yeah, on with us boggle's right? on with us it's coming on he's coming on you may need to unplug but i don't know if that's going to make a difference there you go big boggle hey oh, bud. let's see if we can turn this volume up oh yeah See Hang on, just wait a second. Works. We might have a. You there? Can you hear? Can we hear you? Yeah. There you go. We can hear you. Real right loud, Josh. Real loud. Okay. All right. So, where are you from, Big Boggle? Or what's your name? Hang on, you're in California. Yeah, I'm in California. Oh, yeah, nice. nice, nice. Yeah. You guys uh, got a lot of wind going on there right now. A lot of wind and rain. But you got that storm coming towards you, don't you? Oh, good. You know, my brother used to have a pair of glasses like that. We called them bubbles. He, he had a big pair of glasses like that, but, he, but they were like miners' glasses. You remember that? I'm supposed to wear glasses too, but I don't wear them. Uh, you need them. I really do. I can't see the screen half the time. Look, what was, so what was your name? Richard. 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 All right, Richard, thanks for coming on with us. Can we call you Rich? I need my marker. Let's. Uh, we're going to play a game with you called uh, Hangman. Here we go. You've, you've played Hangman before? Surely. Oh, yeah. You know how it works, right? Okay. So here you go, Josh. This is all you, bud. All right. So we're going to play a, it's one word. Let's, let's see it is spell. Well, let's uh, do, do we give him a, uh, there's no real hints of no, 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 There's no hints. You know how this goes. All right. So let's, uh, let's uh, start with a letter. Uh, a. Yeah, there's an A. Number three. All right. You guys already have to a great start. All right. Next. Can you see it? Oh, yeah, that's better. Uh, how about T? T? No T. No T. That's a big old head. Uh, oh, go. Go up, Mark. An N? N, yeah. When we're on lives, you got to really go up higher. Yeah, we got an N. Now, this has to do with a light. I'll give you an idea, a hint there. It has to do with lights. All right. This guy's good. Now, oftentimes, these lights are on, like, the water. Yeah, you don't have to keep giving him hints. I'm giving him hints so he knows where he's going here, bud. They are going to be giving you letter ideas, too. Oh, go down, Mark, a little bit. There you go. How's that? Uh, how about uh, oh. an O? An O. No O. Yes. Oh, there is an O. That's why I took over. Okay. <laughs> B. And then, uh, 
All right, good, go buddy. Beacon. Beacon. Now, that was excellent, actually. That was way too easy. Matt gave too many hints. No, I gave him the right amount of hints. Okay? Here's what you want, bud. The tough tested beacon. All right, this is a... Um, there's a flat. Oh, there's a little glare on it. There's a flashlight, and it's got like a USB charger on it. That's awesome. And it flashes, and the whole thing is for like you know safety, uh, emergency, emergency uh, things. Thing. So but it's also a power bank. It's an emergency flare. All right. So there you go. That's what you get, bud. We're gonna ship that out to you as soon as we you DM us. Make sure you send us a message. Yeah. And uh, we'll get this out to you. It's awesome. Richard, thanks for coming on, man. Thanks for following up. Uh, what tools aside and. Visiting from California. We'll see you another time. Thanks for playing. We'll let you sign off so we don't end up somehow switching. crashing. Crashing somehow. There you go. Stop it. Oh, Instagram is dead. Stop it, anyways. You got to go back on. We lost the whole show. We can't put it up again. We got to learn about that. We can't have that in the number game number six because we lose everybody. That's what I said. Yeah, I figure it, we'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah, we'll keep talking. Those two. Those are yours. We got to keep rolling. Keep it rolling. All right, so we'll wait before we start the last game there. Yeah, what is the last but, game? Uh, it's the week. It's the Let's do one more. Everybody that comes back on. Okay, I want to give something else out. Um, no, no, let's give out a... Um, hmm. An old shirt. No, let's no. do that. So we have uh, Richard won the beacon. That's right. So for those who were wondering, Richard did win. He got the answer. The yeah. answer was... Beacon, and in fact, he did it with only losing one letter. Because Matt gave him all the clues. That's right. I did my best to keep him going. Now, for all of you that came back on, you will now have a chance to win the same beacon. Okay? You will now have a chance to win that same beacon. Well, there you go. What we need you to do is write beacon in the comments. And well, that was and tricky. Take, well, it was just so that because they had to come back on. That's half the battle. Was getting back on here. In time. I guess. So write beacon in the in the uh, in the comments, and we'll have uh, Kate choose one for you. Okay. Thanks for coming back on like that. And I guess we're going to do lives at the beginning because then if it does cut if out, it does cut out like it just did. Then we the whole show we can't show it anymore. Yeah, yeah. No, right. So we should do that from now on. All right. So put that beacon in, and uh, while you're doing that, we're going to talk about the commenter of the week. The commenter of the week was. Six squawks. Uh, S X W X O X. Swissox. Yeah, Swissox. The question was, what's the best time for you to participate in our flash giveaway? He said, "It's my wife and I's anniversary too." Happy oh. anniversary! So I don't really know. Very, how to, that's a very random how to, selection. Randomly selected. <laughs> oh, we're kicking off our anniversary week. Celebrate with us. With a metabo, okay. The grinder. Okay, so oh, he's, did the grinder. Uh, so what he's saying is he's celebrating his anniversary as well. Yeah, that's so nice. That's, that's happy quite anniversary. So random as I thought. Yeah, happy anniversary. We're glad you uh, were able to celebrate with us. All right, now, so we're still uh, waiting on a beacon winner here. Now we've had a great week so far of giveaways, a whole week's worth of giveaways yeah. for you guys. Um, more than it's been that, exciting yeah. this whole this whole oh, yeah. you know, anniversary oh, right. week for us. We have uh, more stuff all week long. The rest of the next couple of days, guys, some really great stuff. So make yes. sure you stay tuned for that. This was a uh, this was what the person won here. Oh, a little I like uh, what, uh, the the commenter of the week. What tools aside, t-shirts. You're gonna like that. We have some new t-shirts coming too after our t-shirt contest. Which, by the way, keep sending in those t-shirt ideas. Kate's compiling them and making a plan with them all. So yeah, uh, and then and once we once we have what we're looking for, we're gonna put it to you guys to to pick uh, the best. Your yeah. favorite. Hey, so remember. remember I popped on earlier today and I said uh, we had that little torpedo level from uh, from um, Capro, the, the Capro levels. Remember I had a little torpedo level and I said oh, we're yeah. going to announce the winner tonight on the show? The winner. Hold on, before you do that, oh. I got the winner for the beacon, so we don't Oh, wait, it. let's do that first. It's Stephen Lunsford. Stephen Lunsford, congratulations on winning that beacon, bud. Stephen Lunsford, make sure you guys DM us and we're going to get you that same beacon. Yeah. All right. Congratulations on that. To your doorstep. Like so that, that red torpedo uh, capro level, which is really not an expensive oh. level at all, but a very high quality level. In fact, it won like a whole it won awards. Yeah. It actually won an award from Germany that um, even other other competitive levels yeah, no, it doesn't have it. haven't haven't won yet. Okay, and they're like half the price. 
They're really, really fantastic levels. Check them out. They're true. So the winner of that one was Cobalt Building. Cobalt Building, you won that torpedo level from earlier today. We, Thanks for jumping on. we have it here somewhere, don't we? <clears throat> we do. It's downstairs. Uh, I forgot to bring it up. All right, there you go. That's a great little level. You're going to love it. In fact, he's in the business. He does he does all sorts of trim work, it looks like. Yeah. I saw his, uh, his uh, page. Guys, thanks for coming on and joining us on our live tonight. We had a really great time. We're getting back to our our, our things. We're back on schedule, back on, you know, doing the regular giveaways because we were off for two weeks doing that whole dual drive. Yeah. Uh, we're so happy to do yeah, it. Yeah, and, and, and for being patient with us and all of that. By the way, uh, uh, Brian, uh, I saw Brian uh, Barfield. Uh, I think Barefield? It's Barefield. He just made a comment, like, about well, the comment over the week. I don't know who chooses those. I th I, don't, I really don't. I think it's random. It's just kind of like yeah. You, know, you close your eyes and point at the screen. I don't know. It's, I'm not sure. I think he maybe does, it because of the anniversary a, thing. He, she's got a rhythm. But uh, yeah, it's it was it's fun to see the different comments. So thanks guys for commenting and getting involved. Guys, thanks for really coming. Oh wait, let me get my guitar out because I, I got cool. those. Oh, here, just hold that. Uh, no. I have my own. My own brother won't hold it for me. I have my own. So say goodbye to our friends, will you? One at a time. One at a time. You tackle Tom. Yeah, yeah, yes, they are tackle them. Yeah, uh, the tool of the month is that uh, is the pack out, guys. It's the Dewalt pack out. Darling, come and say hello to the people. Just give them a wave. And uh, she's in, she's behind the scenes. Yeah, uh, WTI was a secret. Yeah, right. I know. The um, hey, thanks a lot. I appreciate that. And that's my team. My, my hockey teams are playing. Huh? I know. What is the score? If anybody knows between Montreal and Toronto, that would be a big deal. Keep it up, guys. You guys will all win. Hopefully, we can get something into everybody's hands one day. That's, that's the idea. No, go, 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 go,